Hi, my name is Derek Lane. I'm the process automation manager for Vargo Limited. Uh, this November, I'll have been with the company for 25 years. I started back in 1972 as an electrical apprentice with a coal board up in the northeast. So my experience has been from standard automation, telephones, computer control, conveyors, up to 20 kV distribution. Um, for many years now, I've been involved with field buses from Interbus all the way through up to Profinet today. I am a member of the Profibus user group in the UK, which is PI UK. I'm the deputy chairman. Uh, we've been members since 1997. And what we're doing here today is promoting the technology. So, yes, I work for Vargo. We have a whole range of automation products, but today is Profinet, Profibus, IO Link, and anything that is connected with it. So, I was doing a paper earlier on in the day, and what we have is historical legacy systems like. Profibus. Profibus is um, very well used, still being used at the moment. However, things are changing with industrial Ethernet. Profinet is the offering for the Profibus solution, has been for many years now, about 20 years. What we see at this present day is twice as many new nodes on Profinet as there is Profibus. So Profibus is not dying, it is slowing down, and Profinet is taking over. And one of the reasons for that is certainly the enabling capability of Profinet. Yeah, so a lot of legacy systems installed with Profibus. Profibus, we've got DP for decentralized periphery, for normal factory style automation systems. In the process, they need distance, not so much about speed. So we've got Profibus PA. So all of that equipment um, has been installed for a long time and of course nobody wants to just quickly take that out and replace it. We can't afford it. So it's got to be a gradual thing. So Industry 4.0 to us isn't a revolution, it's an evolution. And again, it wasn't actually a history, you know, historical point, it's something in the future. It was something that we to aim for for around about 1925. So that started a bit of market and BS in a way by the German government to promote German industry to stay at the forefront. However, what we've got now is manufacturers and companies are starting to implement exactly what was put forward. So from the point of view from Profinet, we are an ideal data gathering system. So we've got that information already. And from the top controllers, which is the Profinet masters, we would use OPCUA as the medium to get that information into the cloud. Something that will happen in the future is Profinet as well as Ethernet IP and Foundation Group are looking at TSN, so time sensitive networks. At the moment, Profinet can offer anything from 100 milliseconds down to 31.25 microseconds, but isochronous real time, sub 1 millisecond, requires URTEC chips and specialized hardware. In the future, what we'll have is with TSN, and there's gonna be demonstrations at 2019 Hanover Messer of KIT working, is by using the time synchronization and jumping through and ensuring switches, the telegram gets through quickly. We're gonna end up with 100 gigabit, sorry, one gigabit rather than 100 megabit capability. So we have a higher bandwidth and we're gonna get the one microsecond jitter and the high speeds, you know, around about 30 uh, microseconds that you're going to get with the IRT using conventional hardware. And another area is APL, the advanced uh, power layer. And with that, we're going to get the, the ability to take eth um, industrial ethernet from the convention that we know to a two wire device that will actually supply powered instruments up to 50 milliwatts. This will then allow process industry to make larger runs with ethernet to devices which will be powered. So we see changes in the future where Profinet is certainly an enabling um, protocol for applications for IoT, IIoT and Industry 4.0.